But, Dr. Cortex, we have not determined the cause of past failures. <laughs> Moral! <laughs> this bandicoot will be my general, and he will lead my Cortex commandos to world domination. This time, I shall reign triumphant! We are closer than ever before! Quickly! Into the vortex! The Dr. Cortex, the vortex is not ready. We have no idea what it could do. <laughs> Failure again! Capture him! Uh oh! Prepare the female bandit. Yeah! Hello, everybody! My name is Positive Obesity. As you can completely see, you see these marks? I just say McDonald's because I'm fucking fat. And welcome to a new thing I'm gonna try to do. It might stop, but hopefully not. Crash Bandicoot. I know what you guys are gonna be asking me though. Where the f are the Tom and Jerry video essays? First of all, number one, f you. Number two, I just kind of been in the mood to play Crash. And those videos, unfortunately, are still in the making. It's like it's like waiting for GTA 6 to come out. The fucking Chuck Jones. Tom and Jerry video never gonna come out at this rate. I'm just procrastinating It's very it's a very bad habit of mine, especially now. It's like I'm in junior year now So like I am so exhausted after um, school Like you have no idea how exhausted I am After school and the thing is if I wasn't exhausted all the time after high school, I'm gonna do it I've done it before I'm just gonna be between Crash now. My goal is to complete the games. This is gonna be a very on and off series. Look, if you've been watching me for a bit, you know damn fucking well that me and consistent upload schedules go like go together more than Plankton and the Secret Formula. It's horrible. It's a habit I should quit, but I'm just it's really hard not to. I'm very bad with consistency. I have very bad procrastination issues. So like asking me to have a consistent upload schedule, which I know I need to do if I want to grow and sh it's like trying to ask conservatives to fucking think logically instead of being complete inept fucking retards. Look, I know a lot of people don't do this, but I just like to because I just find it easier. Just fucking get the, all these crates first and then do the um, aku aku trick. What have I got? All right. So. Let me, let me fucking yap for a bit, alright? It's my channel. I have a very odd history with Crash Bandicoot. Hold on, let me just... I missed the fuck. I gotta go back. Hold on. I missed a crate. This is incredibly embarrassing. I didn't miss one. Okay. Alright. Now let's get back to what the fuck I'm trying to say. I have a very weird history with Crash, alright? It starts with my mom's mom. I'm not gonna name drop her because she isn't exactly someone to look up to, I guess you would say. When I would visit where she lives, where I would visit there with my... with my uncle Matthew, I guess you would say. Turtle, my brother, used to play Skate 3 with my uncle Matthew. Lana would just be doing stuff with... I don't fucking know, she probably even wasn't even there. But I used to play Crash Bandicoot with my... We used to call it Granny because before we completely like forgot and hated my mom's mom, we used to call it Granny because you know, I also had Grandma, which is my, my dad's mom, but that's besides the point. We just call her by her name, but uh, I'm gonna not name drop her because she doesn't deserve to be name dropped, honestly. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know where the f I am. Uh, what, what the f I thought I could do that fucking speedrun trick. I was completely blind. I had no idea what the hell I was doing. I, I used to do that all the time because I played the insane version more. Okay, back to the history of me and Crash. And uh, my mom's mom used to be a really big fan of Crash. She wouldn't, she could, she never beat in any of the games. I mean, completed them. She beat them, but she never like got all the gems. Platinum relics, all the fucking crystals and shit. That was like in like 2013, 2014, right? I was like seven, eight. And then I didn't really care for Crash because I grew up with Mortal Kombat and um, Mario because I had, a, I had a 3DS. You know, me and my brother, we were like, we grew up on YouTube. So we used to watch like a bunch of Mario Party videos and like Smosh games play Mario and 
You know, all that shit, right? What the fuck? Ah, fucking hell. It's <laughs> so embarrassing. Holy shit. I just realized something. If I ever get to, like, any form of controversy, they're just gonna pull up this video and be like, Oh, you're fat. Look at you. Because look at this shit. <laughs> fucking fat. I'm probably gonna be used for, like, TikTok memes. If they ever find this shit. I'm cooked. Yeah, this one you also need a color gem for. Thank you. What the fuck? I was about to say, if I didn't get the Aku mask, no, fuck off. And then in 2016, I believe, I started getting really into Kadikaris. And Kadikaris is like the PS1 Cash Banuka Rash Bandy guy, right? I started getting really into his videos because he would make Crash Bandicoot videos. And I was like, oh my god, I remember that from, I was like young as fuck. Yeah, why not, right? So, I started watching his videos, I got really addicted to his other videos. And then I found out that they were selling Crash Bandicoot on the PS3 for like, I think it was like five, eight dollars, right? And then I asked my dad, I was like, oh, what do you want? Uh, um, what do you want, son? I'm like, oh, can you, can you buy me Crash Bandicoot on the PS3? This was before the Insane Trilogy. Can you buy me Crash Bandicoot on the PS3? Why? And he's like, oh, it's a, it's a 3D platformer. I, really, I like playing platformers because I was a platformer kid, right? I, I played platformers. I didn't play, uh, like, shooter games. Like, my cousin, he grew up on Valve and Call of Duty. I grew up on, like, fighting games and Mario and shit like that, right? Tobuscus before he became a, a right-wing fucking conspiracist. Do you like my sword, 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 my diamond sword, sword? You can have a sword, sword, for my diamond sword, sword. Even if you don't, don't, I have a patent. No one else can make a sword, Jackie, in this metal, metal. Welcome to my metal, metal. I can swing, swing, swing my sword, sword, you have a rocket board. I can swing my sword, sword, I can swing my sword, sword. I was like really into Kadikra, so I was like, oh, I should play these games, you know? My dad buys it. I complete all of them. I even get the Platinum Relics because I like hurting myself for some reason. And then the Insane Trilogy got announced. It was like, holy shit, that's awesome. So I got it a year later, Platinum all the games again, right? It was a good attempt. It was a good attempt. And so when like Crash 4 came out, I was like, holy shit, new Crash game. So I did that. And then I got my computer and I played the other Crash games. I played the other ones. I did beat and complete every Crash game. So the big question is, Pasta, Santino, whatever the fuck you want to call me. Why are you doing it here, you piece of shit? You know, I got inspired. I started getting into a, a YouTuber that I've known for a while, but I really started getting back into them. You guys probably know Polarsaurus Rex, right? He's like a British dude. He used to cover like memes of the month and like play Shrek computer or some sh**. I was really into his videos because he would like debunk TikTok sh**. Groups is a really cool YouTuber, right? And then I found out he had a Crash Bandicoot channel. So knowing that information, I'm like, yes, dude. So I watched all of I watched all of the live streams and shit of him playing Crash Bandicoot, and I was like, dude, what if I do this? Because like I love Crash Bandicoot. Yes, I didn't really get into Crash Bandicoot until like 2016, but like, dude, Crash Bandicoot's like the goat. Dude, the boulder gets so anxiety close in this version, because it, it doesn't feel like it homes in on you at all in the Insane Trilogy. I think what also makes this version so stressful the music. The music in the PS1 version is so fucking scary compared to the Insane Trilogy. I probably look like a fucking loser right now, sitting in my gaming chair in a fucking blue pro club playing Crash Bandicoot. Oh my god, what the fuck am I doing? A lot of people say that Crash Bandicoot 1 is hard, and I get that, it's a very... It's a very unfair game. I can I can agree on that. I know there's this trick right here where you can like jump on the fucking sides or whatever. Because I think this one's another one we need a color gem. I'm not gonna attempt any skips. I would probably do that for like a video where like I try doing every skip in Crash Bandicoot challenge clickbaity video like that or something. I hate videos like that. Well, most of the time. It really depends on who's doing. Because if it's because if it's like a really interesting topic, like I try doing the hardest achievement in video games. Like, I'm gonna watch that, but if but if it's like, can I beat fucking Crash Bandicoot with every kid being a natural K? I'm like, no! Are you fucking dumb? It's literally view farming. That perception can really fuck you up in this game, if I'm being honest. Bitch. What the f How? And fuck off. 
Crash Bandicoot mentioned, what the f*** is consistency? Oh, this one sucks. Because I think, I don't know where I heard this, but in Crash 1, boxes don't count if they explode off screen. One of these have a life in them. I think it's, hold on. It's... <laughs> yeah. Depth perception is for the weak. <laughs> no! Uh. Oh, thank God. What have we got? There's actually two things I like in this game better than the n Trilogy, and it's very hard to believe. Uh, some of the music tr Hold on. I'm not gonna be able to make the jump then. I- I did it. One of the things is some of the music tracks in the- in this game are actually, in my opinion, they're better than the n Trilogy. And I know that sounds stupid, because, you know, it's like the PS1 compression. Have you heard the pre-console mixes by uh, Josh Mancello? And it's just like, yeah, but a couple tracks like Slippery Climb or Boulder are better in this game compared to the Insane Trilogy. Because for some reason in the Insane Trilogy, they decided to make the songs more dance party-ish, more funky. Well, in this game, it's more, hey, it's editing pasta over here. I was going to say the music sounds environmental. Number one, how is a song environmental? I meant to say atmospheric here. This disgusting fat beater. It's stressful sometimes. Oh my god, what the f am I doing? Oh yeah, this is another. Damn, there's a lot of. There's a lot of color gem ones. I don't remember that. I don't remember uh, the first island having a lot of color gem levels. I don't remember that at all. Nitrous Brio levels. These ones are a pain in the fing ass. I'm being so f I'm a fucking god. It's kidding. That's like basic fucking platforming. <laughs> I'm so bad. One, two, three. Explode. Thank you. The second thing I like in this game compared to the Insane Trilogy is that they made bonus rounds a requirement in Insane Trilogy, which I don't understand why they're meant to be bonus rounds. Like, if you find all the Tana tokens, you get extra lives and shit. I don't know why they decided that in the Insane Trilogy. Like, yeah, they're required now. If you don't fucking hit the bonus round, you're not gonna get shit. I never understood that. For a completionist like me, it's a good change. But I'm thinking about just, like, casual gamers. And I know that sounds very fucking stupid. Because it's like, oh my god, casual gamers. Oh my god, what a bunch of fucking losers. They don't know how to submarine jump and crash Bandicoot 1. Jesus Christ. I missed that fucking crate. Hmm. I, see him. I, see him. Hmm. I missed the crate. In Hogwild. In fact, my- For like, um, a lot of my family doesn't like using safe space. Did I miss a- Did I miss one? I think I missed one. I don't like the- I don't like the Hogwild stages of this game. Gotta go back. Look, for non-crash players, I know it seems it's not that big of a deal, but the shit that this game demands from you, we need to do everything perfectly and not miss one box while controlling this slunky ass hog. And just the concept of missing a box. It is some of the most disheartening feeling. It's some of the most disheartening feelings of all time being told that uh, you have to replay the level because guess what, you, you missed the box. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm gonna end it here. I don't feel like playing anymore. I'm too fucking embarrassed. I'll fucking see you guys next time. <laughs> you! <laughs> you! Fucking stupid level. Ba -da -ba! F*** you, Crash!